big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching a uh, really unity platform from thank you so much and we do really really appreciate your time for always staying here with us at a winnie unity platform today is friday 9th august remaining exactly 27 days for ghana to host angola in kumasi baba yara sports stadium african cup of nation qualifiers so this video we're going to be driving your attention to be talking about defenders we have six center backs here we're going to be sharing with you some of them is players that are familiar some of a uh, few new players right there also we're going to be talking about the left back we have four players we're going to talk about share with you right here the right back we have three players to share with you right here 27 days to go probably i would say maybe two weeks time otuado will definitely name the squad to face angola this is the reason why we're going to be sharing with you um these players right here we're also driving your attention to Ghanaian players doing very well a lot of people always ask um the, the players that we are talking about is too many that's so that ghana is so blessed to have so many players around the world there's a lot of countries back in africa when you go to their national team you'll find difficult to see two three players that are playing international level like maybe europe or other stuff like that so if you see that every day we are bringing new players that's so how blessed ghana is to have players all over the world so uh let's start from some of the players that was in action last um last wednesday and yesterday thursday last wednesday the europa league conference and the europa conference league loris atizigi and stefan ambrosos they welcome poland club in switzerland and it was a good news for loris atizigi and stefan ambrosos you know stefan ambrosos moved from german bundesliga 2 to the switzerland league also doing very well last wednesday he played for 90 minutes Lawrence Atizgi as well as a goalkeeper, he also played full 90 minutes and they won by two goals to zero. Also, Francis Abu with his club, they also travel to Norway. Francis Abu played full 90 minutes, but it didn't go well for them. They beat them three goals to zero. So the return mark is going to be next week. And Lawrence Atizigi and Stefan Abuso, they will be traveling to Poland next week as well. And when you move to the Europa League qualifiers, um, Maki Bedu, Terry Yebre, and also Abdullah, they also travel to Croatia. They went there, they play 1 1. And Abdullah, the Ghanaian youngster, he's the one who got the goal for them. He also got a red card on that game. Makebedu play 78 minutes. The defender I'm going to be talking about right here, Tereyebe also played full 90 minutes for the team. So it's a good one for them. They went away getting 1-1 in Croatia. Now they're going to be welcoming the Croatia club in Sweden next week as well. And when you move back to the Conference League, Jerome Borton also played full 90 minutes. They traveled to Georgia. Okay, they traveled to Georgia. Jerome Borton played full 90 minutes, helping his team. They, they won that game by one goal to zero. So that is a very good um, for Ghana and Black Stars. Ghanaian players are doing very well, which I'm always proud seeing Ghanaian players all over the world so now let's drive our main focus to the defenders we're going to talk about we're going to be starting from from the left back we're going to be starting from the left back left back i already told you that i have four players i will be sharing with you and doing a little bit analysis about their performance so far as we all know the last time Otuado invites Giron Mensa and Ebenezer Anand and they both perform very well. 
so i'm adding two players to these players that luckily some of them will get call up number one is Gideon Mensah Gideon Mensah has been in Black Stars for a while now he's a senior member so far and a Benizanan but when you look at Baba Rahman Abdul Baba Rahman performance since he moved to Greece with Pau he's doing very well even when you check off I think they, they were the Champions League qualifiers they play last Tuesday he got a second goal for his team helping his team to get a um, draw I think they also travel to um, Sweden to play Swedish top club Mamo FF so I feel like Otoado said it that Baba Rahman said he's not willing to return back to Black Stars but who knows we have a lot of players that said so many things even our own main man Asamuajan our legend spoke some time ago that he's not going to return for Black Stars but at the end he returned back to Ghana for some time ago Kevin Prince bought in quit for Ghana Black Stars returned back again so who's not to my personal opinion when you look at Bla Baba Rahman performance we do need the guy back in Ghana Black Stars I'm not saying that without him we can move forward we can move forward but sometimes i think we need to take some certain things out in full course and players that are really doing well and when you look at baba roman performance is i can say to my personal opinion i can say when you compare to the like someone comment on this video for some time ago that even when you look at the the left back we have so far baba roman i will say baba roman is ahead of all the left back we do have right there baba roman is doing very well in terms of when you compare to Giron Mensah and Ebenezana these players is not a player that you can you can rely on them that they will be every game they will perform for you back to back back to back another youngster that doing very well in the uh, Slovakian league playing in one of the Slovakian top club is Sani Zuberu Zuberu this guy here is always on top the qualifiers as well is playing full 90 minutes with this club right here in the Slovakian league play for the left back he can also play for us uh, 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 left wing but normally the club they use him in the left back and when you look at his performance in the qualifiers so far he's some top notch player as well and i think that um, even all, all these players i'm talking about here i knew that not all of them can get a chance to ghana blaster but this is so you how ghana is so blessed having a lot of players all over the world so this is be four players for the for the for the left back so far i think they are doing very very well now let's go to the the right back the right back as usual the players that we all know that without injuries they're going to be in ghana black star squad ali risidu and tarek lamte both two guys we can rely on them the last time otoado said um denis odoy was injured not that he did not uh, wanted to invite him back he's injured so this time around we do not know whether Dini Sodoy will be part or not that is why I do not really include him in my list right here so the young man that I think played for um, four times for Ghana have four cups for Ghana um, Kingsley Sinla is another great right back it been in black stars for quite some time it's another option for ghana right there this call up i don't think that otoado going to make a big otoado want to build black stars team like a european style not to be changing players every game every tournament stuff like that maybe otoado will only bring a new player 
when that position maybe one player is injured or something that is the only way i believe that otuado will bring different new players okay so these new players i'm talking about right now they are players that i feel like they are also an option for otuado maybe if some players have injuries or something like that so kinsley sinla is also another great option for the right back now we're coming back to the main center back like i said earlier on the center back i have six players right here there are some players you're not going to hear their name because i'm not really seeing them well so far that is a uh, um daniel amate and also abdimumun as well i'm not talking about these guys so good at starting from alexander Juku. we all know that alexander Juku is top number one when black stars call up um Otuado want to make the call up alexander Juku will be top number one because he's doing very well number two as well will be this is the center back will be mohammed salasu he's also doing very well with monaco their preseason so far and number three is joron opoku also the last time he was there he's doing very well a tall young player playing very well um he also played the europa league conference the europa conference league they traveled to georgia and they won that game one goes to zero he played for 90 minutes who will be he will be the third option a choice for Otuadu right there then now this is some of the young players that also doing what is Stefan Ambrosos Stefan Ambrosos has played for Ghana I think twice or something like that and that time he was playing in German Bundesliga 2 now he moved to the Switzerland playing the same club with Loris Atizi to give him for the number five Gacy meaning he's, he's going to be a pillar of the club FC Sangali yes so he is also another best player with I notice that before Otuado normally like to invite him because he's a kind of defender when I look at this guy let us remember um Samiko Four and John Mesa you can see them how they stand and if you are a striker and you are not confident enough the moment you get close there you will say no let me let me turn back so he's also another best option for Otuado with making four center back another center back as well is Terry Yewe this young guy here playing the same club with uh, playing uh, the same club with Makebedu and Abdullahi in the Sweden, uh, Sweden League S-Bob he's also doing very very well you know Sweden they start their their league quite some time now and he play I think almost all the matches he played 10 games so far as a centre back scoring two goals giving one assist as centre back right there he's doing very very well always playing full 90 minutes for his club and he played for Ghana under 23 side I think that was 2023 he played under 23 for Ghana Black Stars and the last player I'm going to be finishing with you is this young man here he's doing very well Michael and this is a uh, Maswell Maswell Water. This is the full name. Maswell. He's playing in Norway. This club right here. Always in the starting lineup. Playing for 90 minutes. Last week he got a, a red card. So he couldn't able to play their last week game. But he's also another top defender for Otuado. So this is a six center backs. I feel like um, they are doing very well. Probably not all of them will get a chance for now but talking about these players showing that that is Otoado will not worry when it come to center back and there is a lot of center backs out there which we can talk about but we cannot talk about all these players but the players have been monitoring so far some of them are playing the preseason game some of them are playing Europa League qualifiers conference league qualifiers champions league qualifiers oh my goodness Ghana we are so blessed like I said earlier on, there are some countries you go, you can only have maybe roughly two players that are playing 
outside the country. Even if you check countries like a, a lot of countries, Sudan, how many players they have if we go to a lot of countries. So when we are talking about these players here, um, some of you always say, well, these players, they are too much. That's to show that how blessed Ghana we are. To have a lot of players all over the world. I'm telling you. So, yeah, that is it um, for you. For now, thank you so much for always staying here with us at the Winnie Unity platform. One love.